Welcome to Rope Dropping Knowledge, where we guide you through the magic of Disney. Dude, we're super late. Hmm. <laughs> it's Monday. Monday afternoon. Technically Monday evening, probably. I don't know. <laughs> we're only three days late. <laughs> For a podcast, that's pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we're doing it weekly. If we did it monthly, it'd be like, okay, whatever. Three <laughs> days here, three days there. Some podcasts only happen monthly. Mm. There's monthly podcasts, but then there's Disney. There's so much always going on. Yeah, so. sometimes the information gets stale if you wait too long. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, I guess we just start off that we have a new giveaway. Yeah, giveaway. We have a Lounge Fly Princess Silhouette backpack. Yes. So it's black with white straps. <laughs> is it black or is it navy blue? Oh. Yeah. Silhouette. So we already put a picture of it on social media, mm-hmm. Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I guess, you know, we'll probably be doing a lot of lounge fly giveaways just because people seem to like them. So. Yeah. And they like stuff that they can wear at the parks. Yeah. So you can wear this one at the park. It's not. It's a, it, It's not kind of. Uh, it's shaped differently than like the than the regular lounge fly. It yeah. doesn't have that little front pocket. It doesn't have the little front. Well, I don't know. No, it doesn't. So. Yeah. Well, I only put one picture up. It might have it in the on the back or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's, but, it doesn't but it's have not the, the shape though. It's it the, has it's the a front square. like zipper thing. But yeah. you know how in the lounge fly it has that bump. Yeah, but yeah. it's still the front pocket though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's more like um. It's a little. It's not square, but it's squarer. <laughs> so, so you guys can all you know just go to Instagram or Facebook and take a look at it. It's pretty cool. I think it's kind of u- unique looking. Yeah, I think so. And I don't think you could buy it anymore. I only think it's they made unique. a few. Yeah, it's unique from other lounge fly stuff. And it has the princess silhouettes at the bottom. And it's quilted. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, go see for yourself, <laughs> and you can win this on. What's the last day? <laughs> I thought you wrote it down. Um, April 29th. Is the last day, right? Yes. Uh, April 29th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm. And all you have to do is answer this question via Facebook or Instagram. Just use our direct message. Or both. Or both. Or info at ropedropkingknowledge.com, our email. And if you do all three, you get three entries. You do two, you get two entries. You one, you get one entry. But the question is, since all the this is a Disney princess backpack, and if you have, you know, noticed, like the, the different Disney princesses come from different areas of the world, if you were going to create the next Disney princess, where would she be from? Or prince. You could do a prince. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what part of the world? It doesn't even have to be our world. Just anything. <laughs> Your own new Disney princess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if we've had an African. I guess unless you count like Simba's chick. <laughs> Nala? <laughs> Simba's chick. I know. It's not a chick. It's a lion. Oh, yeah. But she's she's a lion. Ty- she'll lion? be a queen, no. I guess. No. I guess she was never a princess. Lioness. Yeah, lioness. Yeah. Um, she would be a queen. Yeah, but not a princess. Yeah. She'll go straight to queen. She jumps a step. Like Camilla Parker Bowles. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess technically Shuri is a princess, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wakanda's African. But it's not animated. <laughs> oh, animated. Well, they don't have to be animated. Why anything? Yeah, yeah anything. It can be anything. Just what you're made of you can, you, Even if it's a, something that's already been done, it's fine. <laughs> World's not that big. <laughs> I haven't seen an Eskimo yet. <laughs> Eskimo princess Australia New Zealand mm-hmm. You can even mean Just because you had Different princesses in Europe Doesn't mean Every country has been represented Yeah So Romania <laughs> <laughs> Uzbekistan 
<laughs> All right. So, again, this ends on the 29th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Must be 18 years or older and live in the United States. All righty. We've had Kevin and Christina's anniversary Yesterday. and your birthday. And my birthday. <laughs> Same day. Yes. My family will always remember my birthday. <laughs> or at least my family who attended Kevin and Christina's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they'll remember your birthday and vice versa. Yeah. They'll, they'll remember their anniversary. Yeah, it's usually harder to remember people's anniversary. Yeah, I'll always remember Kevin and Christina's anniversary. Mm-hmm. That was so fun. Yeah. Of course, there's Amy. Doesn't matter what day it is, it's always about her birthday. <laughs> you know, it's so nice cute. <laughs> me and Emmy sent me a video wishing me a happy birthday and they sang and then their mom was like, Whose birthday are we celebrating? And then um and, and Mia goes, Auntie Tracy and mine, because M- Mia's birthday is also uh, in April. And then Emmy's like, well, also, it's my birthday in January or something. <laughs> like, she talked. <laughs> it's always about her. <laughs> She's so funny. She's so cute, though. It made the video funny. <laughs> it was, I don't know. She just cracks me up. <laughs> she's she's hilarious. <laughs> just so you know, it's my birthday. It was like a whole yeah. video. It's like also just it's just to my say birthday. happy birthday to you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and acknowledge her big sister. Yeah, <laughs> but the, let's talk about my birthday, <laughs> which is already like three months ago. <laughs> oh man, she is going to be a diva. <laughs> But we're going to get to see them soon. Yes. But you got to see some Kevin and Christina. Oh, it's also Chip and Dale's birthday on April 2nd, 1943. Oh, yeah. So you guys are the same age. <laughs> no. No? I wasn't born in 1943. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so you aren't. So, but speaking of Kevin and Christina... And speaking of just family in general, you had a big family outing without me. Yes. At Disney. So you didn't mm-hmm. want to take the day off work. It's not that I don't want to take the day off work. Everyone wants to take the day off work. You didn't want to use of your PTO. You see her, f- she has the Hillary Clinton laugh. I, know, I have the <laughs> Hillary Clinton laugh. <laughs> but then <laughs> when she laughs at me and is evil, she goes, Mwah, she's the, the Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> it's either Hillary Clinton or Jafar. <laughs> Jafar. I like mm. Scar better. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yes, um, so my aunt mm. wanted to, or my cousin wanted to take my aunt, my cousin Arnold and his wife Melody wanted to take my aunt. And then Brian said, oh, if you guys go with your mom, then you'll get my mom's ticket. And then my mom can go with them, and then I'll go. Or if it's if the days work out, we'll both go. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, you can take the day off. So I went. So, yeah, my mom and I went, and my aunt and my mom are the same age, and they're they're kind of close. So mm-hmm. it would it was fun taking the both of them. You said it was like taking kids. Yes, my cousin <laughs> and I were like, man, this is like taking kids, because throughout the day we're like, are you guys okay? Does your feet hurt? Do you need to take a seat? Okay, who has to go to the bathroom? Because we, had, you mm-hmm. should go now before we stand in line. Like, it was like exactly <laughs> like taking kids. And then it's also like my mom's never been to DCA, mm-hmm. and my cousins and my aunt aren't really Disney people. Maybe they go to Disney once every two years, mm-hmm. and even when they go, they're like going on all the classic rides. They don't go over to DCA, and... They don't know all the things, you know, like, oh, we're so glad we're going with you because just tell us what to do. So I kind of just took over, you know, put all five tickets on my app and did all the Genie Plus stuff. Um, so, yeah, they had they experienced a lot of first time things like while we were waiting for our lightning lane to come up. We went on the Little Mermaid emotional whirlwind and my cousins were like, these are all like first, the first for all of, for us, for all of these rides. Mm-hmm. And we would have never thought to jump on these rides because we're just like, oh, let's just do whatever the most popular rides are. And then, you know, that's it. So mm-hmm. um, the one that I knew my mom and aunt would like was Soaring. 
And right now it's soaring over California. And my, oh my gosh, yeah. When you say it's like taking kids, you know, when people have their kids come to Disneyland for the first time and they see Mickey or something for the first time or they see Cars Land and the kids are all like the eyes pop out and stuff. Or Provost. Yeah. <laughs> or we are, yeah, or the video of that kid meeting Provost and screaming. Well, that's what my aunt looks like when she was on Soaring. Like, mouth gaping and eyes all wide. Like, <laughs> she's like, California's so beautiful. Like, she loved that ride. My mom liked it too, but my mom was kind of scared because her legs were dangling, but she liked it too. And then I told them the smell when the smell came out and they sniffed and really liked it. Mm -hmm. And then the end of the night, she wanted to go again. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh, the line's an hour and we have World of Color. She's like, oh, man. I was like, well, if I knew you wanted to go again, we would have lined up earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It was like kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we had, yeah, they did Web Slingers. My aunt did really bad in <laughs> bread slingers, but my mom was really good. My aunt kept going like this. I'm like, no, it's Nobody not praying. Nobody can see what you're doing, Tracy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was showing you. My aunt kept doing it with one hand, like the praying gesture, but doing it like yeah, karate like, chop, but praying. Like a sword, like thrusting yeah. a sword. Like th praying. <laughs> I'm like, no, you could use two hands like this. And then mm. she was. She is I very Catholic. Yeah, she's very Catholic. So, she's, so I don't know. She couldn't see. She couldn't understand the concept like webs are coming out of her hands because she has no idea who Spider-Man is. And then luckily, <laughs> lucky her, Spider-Man gave her a high five too. Mm. So we watched the Spider-Man show. We just happened to be like walking to Web Slingers and then the Spider-Man show started. So we stood right there. Mm -hmm. And then when the show's over, I didn't know this because we never stopped to watch the show. When the show's over, Spider-Man comes down and gives everyone a high five. Mm -hmm. And she got a high five with Spider-Man. So how, how could she not know who, she, who he is? She just met him. She didn't know. So she didn't know that he, <laughs> he spits out web. So when she was on the ride, she didn't understand the concept. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> My mom at least knew, okay, when I go like this, some this string, red string comes out, you know? So my mom actually scored like... 111,000 points or something. My aunt only scored like maybe 70,000 points. <laughs> but, you know. Which is she, weird because her kids are gamers. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know what Star Wars is. So it's yeah. just funny. But she liked the rides. She's She likes the thrill rides. I rode Thunder Mountain with her. My mom sat, sat that one out. Um, I'm so scared. My mom doesn't do Star Tours. Mia's got more bravery yeah, than her. Yeah, Mia's braver than her. <laughs> um, the only reason why my mom tolerates pirates is the rest of the ride she likes. She just doesn't like the drop <laughs> um, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they they really enjoyed the. And then we got to go on. Um, so then at the in the middle of the day, like, you know, not the middle, but maybe like four in the afternoon, Kevin and Christina joined us. So we had a party of seven, and Mickey, we had already paid to go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway earlier, and my aunt really liked that. She didn't, <laughs> it's funny because we never like really explained to her Lightning Lane and all that stuff. So I was like, yeah, this ride is brand new. It just came out last month. She's like, wow, last month, and we didn't even have to wait that long, you know? <laughs> and Arnold's like, no, no, we didn't have to pay for front of the line, all this stuff. Anyways. So we already wrote that, like, at around 1 o'clock. Um, but then in the afternoon, um, Kevin and Christina joined us after they got back from work. And um, the line for the standby line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was only 45 minutes. So we figured, oh, this is a ride all seven of us can go on. Let's just wait 45 minutes. But we stood in line, and it was really only 20. Mm. So it went by really fast. Yeah. But at least I got to take a picture and see the the real cue yeah. that people were telling me about. Like, oh, the hidden popcorn with the hidden Donald and Mickey and Minnie and all that stuff. So that was cool. Um, the popcorn part was is a concession stand kind of part. And that's the part where people kept vandalizing and stealing the props. So now they have like a sort of like a concession usher guy standing there, like as if you're in a movie theater. <laughs> so he's like, hey, folks, you know, Did try you to look. To yeah, there? try to look. Well, he more was like, try to look for the hidden Donald. I know you can see Mickey and Minnie easily, but see if you can find Donald in the popcorn and stuff like that. So he was making announcements like that. 
<laughs> but I have a feeling it's because people kept stealing yeah, the props. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, why would you like do that? So sad. Well, because it's a uh, one of a kind. Not a one of a kind, but it's like it's like when we did the um um the martial arts tournament when we put it on mm -hmm. there and they give away the Mickey shaped dragon medals. Oh like, yeah, like, uh huh. So like you know I competed it and. You know, if a friend's competed, but then we have to put it on. It's like, you can't get those medals unless you compete in a, the Disney martial arts yeah. thing. And it's kind of like people like w have offered to like buy mine. Because you can't, because if you're a collector of things Disney, <coughs> but you don't do martial arts, you're kind of like out of luck. And I don't yeah. even know if they give those medals anymore. It's like these two dragons that shape the Mickey ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so like if you get like a salt shake, it's kind of like people who got the sporks from... Yeah, who sold Edge. the sorks? Yeah. Yeah, because where else are you going to get a Galaxy's Edge? Now they sell them, but. Oh, that reminds me. Mm. I'm going to go buy one for Arnold and give it to him. Because oh, we okay. were supposed to go to Docking Bay because he's like, yeah, let's just eat here because mm. I want a spork. But then mm -hmm. we decided to go to Plaza Inn instead so that we can compare the Flo's fried chicken we had earlier with the Plaza Inn. And one of Arnold's friend, who's a cast member, works in Flo's. He confirmed that they are two different recipes. Flo's is fried chicken. Plaza what? Inn is roasted chicken. Wait a minute. Because we heard mm -hmm. from a lot of people that they were the same recipes. And they may be taste-wise, but the way it's cooked is different. So they're two different. Wait a minute. I always thought they were the same chicken. Nope. No! <laughs> No, they're not. They are so yes. Flo's is traditional fried chicken. Plaza Inn is roasted chicken. Don't and ask me what roasted means. I asked and every time and I roasted. <laughs> maybe, huh? <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's not crunchy. The mm -hmm. skin at Plaza Inn. Oh, makes but, sense. Yeah, we had fun. Um, and then we went on Star. My aunt really likes Star Tours as well. My mom and Christina set that one out, so Kevin used my mom's lightning lane to go on that. That's uh, a big day for you guys. And you were with women in their 60s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you oh, a long and time. <laughs> of course, we went to Salt and Straw because Christina uh -huh. was there. She always <laughs> <laughs> recommends Salt and Straw. But then, you know, the older ladies were cold, so we got them beignets instead. And then we walked back and so got this Salt and Straw. never happened because that's a lethal combination for you. <laughs> yeah, so I took a picture. I had beignets with my ice cream, and that was the best combo ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was really good. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, salt and straw. Oh, so, yeah, at, at noon, I did get a um, virtual queue for World of Color spot. So... My cut, it was for the 9 p.m. show, and my cousin's like, oh, they're not going to last until 9. You know, like we thought, oh, maybe 7. Mm -hmm. But after we had ice cream, they got their second wind. <laughs> and they're like, no, we want to go and get our money's worth. We're just keep going. <laughs> and we're more like, okay, can we go now? But they wanted to keep going. So we're like, all right, let's just keep going. So we did watch World of Color, and I did watch it again, and it wasn't as bad as... I thought it was. Maybe that last time we were standing off to the side and there was a pole in the way. This time we got like the middle. Um, I don't know. We just kept walking mm -hmm. until we were in the middle and in the front, the wet zone. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because it's a weekday and they're not, there's not cast members standing everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I think that was the dining reservation spot, you know, like right in front. So we're like, okay, let's just go. We're like, let's just stand here. You're embarrassed. You get kicked out with your mom. Well, that was Arnold. He was the one that's like, hey, I found a better spot. You know, so. Hey, you, Tracy, <laughs> in the front. Get out of there. We know who you are. Rope dropping knowledge is starting trouble again. <laughs> You're banned. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, so we, you don't get that wet. It's more like a light spray. Like, you know, when it's drizzling. So, it wasn't bad. Um, but the, the show was good. Yeah. So, I recommend you watch it again <laughs> watch it again because you didn't really like it last time i didn't say i didn't like it you said it wasn't as good as the last show the no, old i was show. just comparing it to the old show it didn't mean i didn't like it there was a lot of fire 
Yeah. Not as much as the pirates. No, I said they spread it out over the whole thing as opposed to... Oh, the one, yeah. Yeah. I said pirates was just great. Yeah. That's what I was saying. You know. I think I know what they're trying to do. It, well, it is called World of Color 1. So they tried to incorporate everything. All mm-hmm. one Disney. Mm-hmm. One United Disney. Yeah. So, it, yeah, that that was a good show. <laughs> so, yeah, we actually stayed until after that show. So we left at like 9. I mean, 10. Mm-hmm. 9.45-ish. That's cool. Got on the tram, went back. <laughs> it was a fun day. We did uh, Phil Her Magic. Yeah. Sounds like you guys got a lot done. I mean, I don't usually stay that long. <laughs> so. Yeah, like we got there at 9. Hmm. So we didn't really rope drop, but we got there early yeah. enough. So you stayed there like 11 hours. Yeah. Well, no, nine. To, that's eleven. Nine, nine to, to nine would be twelve. So 12. then, um, thirteen hours. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Melody was the one I was like passing out. Like you know, she had like she's like, could I put my head on your shoulder and sleep right now? I was put like, sure. Put your head on my <laughs> yeah. shoulder. She was about to pass out. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had fun. Yeah. We had so. fun. Your birthday marathon month just keeps rolling on. Yes, and I'm going again tomorrow. <laughs> of course. By myself. <laughs> yeah. um, we're meeting, I'm meeting Carrie mm-hmm. later, but in the daytime earlier, I'll be by myself. Mm-hmm. And I'll just walk around and skip along. <laughs> Never did a solo trip before, so I'm excited to do whatever I want. Don't you always do whatever you want. You just make no, me do whatever you like want. No, I don't like dragging you around. <laughs> I just like just doing whatever. Walk back and forth if I want to. <laughs> you just don't want to, to you just get tired of telling people what to do. No. But you always do what you want. No, I don't. <laughs> you, you just make other people do what you want to. <laughs> no, I don't do what I want. Because I don't like dragging you everywhere. <laughs> See, you admit you drag me everywhere. <laughs> I got but you I on, don't, got so you on that's why I don't do what I want. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what you do differently. <laughs> I'll probably... Probably the same stuff. No. I think I'll probably go to Tom... What is it? Is it still called Tom Sawyer's Island? Yeah. And walk around there. Yeah. <laughs> In there and see what's... Explore. You'll probably get lost. Probably won't go on rides. <laughs> we'll see. Because... Maybe when I meet up with Carrie, I might, but yeah. Hmm. I'll be like Mr. Cheesy Pop. Go without going on rides. Hmm. No. Taste it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll go to the avocado booth. Because you're not there. <laughs> so, why do you care? You're not there. <laughs> That's something I'll do that I can't do with you. And I'll eat ice cream. I'm going to call in and say you're selling counterfeit Disney merch. <laughs> no. <laughs> we know what you're doing, Tracy. You're selling counterfeit Disney merch. We got an anonymous tip. <laughs> you're nope. banned. Nobody will believe you. Yeah. Well. But, whoa. <laughs> the auto-tune thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, there was nothing at that booth. That's why I wanted to go to Docking Bay, though, because there's this dish with, it's like a pasta braised short ribs on top with this sauce but the sauce has avocado in it mm. so i kind of want to try that too that's why i wanted to go there so i'll do that and then i'll just get arnold his spork <laughs> yeah star wars and avocado don't go together <laughs> avocado don't go with anything but all right so what else yeah you tell me oh. you mentioned avocado so i'm trying to hold everything down no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, should I talk about the sugar cane straw when I talk about our taste talk? Yeah, we can save that for taste talk. Okay. So. Well, the next thing is just some sad news. Well, not really sad. Well, I guess nobody wants to see a layoff. But there were two executive layoffs. So, you know how they said that during the first wave of layoffs, um, uh, most of them are um, executives and people in corporate I think the on-the-field cast members at the parks are pretty much safe. Um, so the first layoff was <laughs> Jeffrey R. Epstein. 
the now former VP of corporate communications the of the Walt sad Disney name. Company. I know. <laughs> so he thing. was laid off. So they're mostly execs from Hulu and Freeform. Yeah. So, yeah, Jeffrey R. Epstein. Everyone's looking around. Who's the first to be laid off? And I'm like, um, <coughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. <laughs> He's R. like, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then the second one was Marvel Entertainment Chairman Isaac Perlmutter. Perl, Perl, Perl His name's Ike. Mm -hmm. He was laid off. Um, he's 80. So he was told by phone on Wednesday that Marvel Entertainment, which is a small division centered on consumer products, and they run separately from Marvel Studios. Yeah. So they figured it's redundant because mm -hmm. there's already a Marvel Studios. And it's going to be folded into the larger um, Disney business units. But he infamously wanted to almost fired Kevin Feige in 2017, and Iger stopped it. Wow. So. 80 years old. I wonder if he was informed by, like, a rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. I don't want to be working when I'm 80. He should retire then and just 80. take the golden parachute. You know, I can tell you that some people are, they just working as they feel it's what's keeping them alive. Like Yeah, like Nancy Pelosi's like eighty two or eighty three yeah. or something. I know. Yeah. So some people just, you know, that's just their way of life. They've been working. Yeah. And if you're eighty, what's weird is is that back in your day, like you started working younger. Yeah. So they're so the, you the probably time, started at sixteen. Even younger, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> so um, he could have been working since he was like 12. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's just crazy. Wow. Yeah. All right. So that's for that. So there's some Reedy Creek stuff you wanted to talk about. I didn't really want to talk about it, but it was just like, Man, I, we well, think we're done. And then yeah, then but they were done with Reedy Creek, and it's, <laughs> it's a done deal, and now there's like more drama. I don't know if it's drama. I don't know. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so... Everyone knows Reedy Creek, just like a quick, you know, you know, previously on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Reedy Creek is a special tax district, special community that was set up, you know, in um, in Florida. Uh, they have special tax status. They have uh, special jurisdictional rights. So it's kind of like their own city, pretty much, even mm -hmm. though... Uh, Asakola and Orange County, it kind of stretches over both counties. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually bigger. It's kind of like their own county because there's actually a, a couple small cities within mm. Reedy Creek. Mm. So then there was the whole thing, like, what was it, like a, a year, a year and a half ago with Chapek and DeSantis, and it was about the the bill, the parental rights and education bill. Some people call it the, you know, don't say gay bill. And... It was just well, a weird thing, blah, 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 you know. The Santas basically got mad at At Chapek. Chapek. Well, he got mad at all of Disney for what it was weird because it was uh, a situation where Disney, like a lot of big companies, Disney's the only one that got pulled into drama, but a lot of big companies give money to politicians of both parties. Mm -hmm. Republicans and Democrats. This wasn't really a, a Republican and Democrat thing. That's what big corporations do. They they want to make sure whoever wins, you remember we gave you money, mm -hmm. so don't do anything to hurt us or hamper us. Kind mm -hmm. of that's they give to everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, when this bill came out, Disney has a large contingent of LGBTQ cast members and supporters, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Well, you gave money to some of the politicians." That passed that this bill. That support the bill, yeah. Yeah. And so they said, and yet you're not saying anything. And Chapo was like, thinking his head, no, uh, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I kind of wanted to like. And then he said something. <laughs> and then he got pr kept getting pressure. So then he said something. Then DeSantis hits back and says, you know, you need to kind of know your role. We're going to da, 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 da. Matter of fact, we're going to take Disney's e exempt status and destroy yeah. Reedy Creek. Mm -hmm. And, but. Twist, first twist was, well, if you do that, you're going to have like over a billion dollar bond that <laughs> you're going to have to pay right. <laughs> to, and, and the taxpayers are going to have to do that. So the first plan that DeSantis did didn't work. So then they came down to this deal, which was kind of finalized last month, where 
DeSantis gets to pick a new board of Reedy Creek. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much everything stays the same, but they kind of get a lot of power. Um, they're DeSantis's people. Yeah, he appoints them. And yeah, he appointed them. It's called something else or something. Yeah, and something Central Florida Improvement District or something. Yeah, something like that. And we thought that was the end of it. We thought, okay, Disney kind of got a win in the sense that they can't really, they it's don't really dissolved. have. dissolved. Yeah, it's yeah. not dissolved. They st- Reedy Creek, you know, by another name is still Reedy Creek. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have board members that could just bas- basically a board of Karens that can <laughs> say, hey, you know, if you if you guys speak out too much, we're going to hold up some projects or something. Because that's really all they, the board yeah, does is yeah. they maintain the streets and stuff and mm-hmm. the infrastructure of the community. Mm-hmm. So apparently what Disney did right before this new board took power, mm-hmm. took office, is they sent through... And it's not like one document. It was like it's tons of documents. They haven't even gone over all of them yet, um, even to this day. That pretty much stripped the board. <laughs> so the old board. The old board that was still there. Yeah. Said pretty much, you know, in a nutshell, all the power less was Disney. Board can't overtone any decisions Disney does. And the board really has n- no power. <laughs> <laughs> Basically rewrote sort of the bylaws or whatever, the consti- yeah. their constitution or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. And because it's, and the board has the power to do that. Right. And so <laughs> before they left. Yeah. Right? Cuz they were the board. And yeah. so <laughs> and it says um <laughs> the, uh, one of the um Ron Pearl who's on the board says this essentially makes Disney the government. <laughs> board member Ron Pearl said during Wednesday's meeting according to a video posted on the Orlando television station on an Orlando television station the board loses, for practical purposes, the majority of its ability to do anything beyond maintaining the roads and maintaining basic infrastructure. Which, ironically, not ironically, but... If really? You, that's what That's what a board do. is supposed to do. Yeah. You're not supposed to be able to, like... Because what they wanted to do was say, hey, we want to be able to tell you what to do. What and we want to make you shut your mouth about certain things. Yeah. <laughs> and that's really not the purpose of a, a community board or a board right. of supervisors. Right, right. Right. Everybody lives in a county, pretty much. Yeah. And everybody who lives in a county or a city, they have mm-hmm. a city council or a board of supervisors. Mm-hmm. San Diego, we live in a city within a county. We have both. Mm-hmm. We have the city council of San Diego, and then we have a board of supervisors over San Diego County. The board of supervisors isn't telling businesses what to say or not say. You know, they can do certain things as far as land use and, and, and everything else, but they really, even though they are a political entity, they're not supposed to get into the d- political debates with private companies or private citizens, right? Mm-hmm. So they're kind of mad that they don't have superpowers. They basically limited them to what a board of supervisors should be doing. And, mm-hmm. they're, and they got upset because that wasn't DeSantis's promise to his constituents. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, the promise is, is that we're going to be able to control Disney somewhat. So... What's this in perpetuity or so, the so death of so Prince Charles, whatever? This is, King I'm getting to it. And <laughs> well, actually, this is not uncommon, actually. Oh, really? Well, yeah, maybe I don't know much about well, yeah. politics, I guess. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Government, you know, I mean. You're, you're kind of a, you're not fully certified attorney yet. But <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> attorneys don't know much about politics. Well, it, yeah, it, it is, it is um, kind of a... Call the law or the code of perpetuity. It's uh, so this law, this mm, new this declaration, thing, declaration, yeah, and and it's spelled out, and this is how it actually says in the document, in how it's spelled out. This declaration shall continue in effect until twenty one years after the death or the last descendants of King Charles the Third, King of England, living of this date of this declaration. But it's the last descendants of King yeah, Charles. The last III. descendants. So like. Uh, what's his name? George. Right. George's kids, kids, kids. Yeah. And we all know that the royal family ain't going to die out. <laughs> so 21 years, even if they did, it'd be it's still 21, 21 years, years after later. that. Yeah. yeah. Because you can't, and this is why, it, it's the perpetuity clauses or, or whatever. You can't say, hey, this stays in effect forever. Yeah. You can't say something st- is in perpetuity. Yeah. So... You have to tie it to something. Yeah. 
And so they tied it to the royal family. Hmm. Even though the royal family has nothing to do with Disney <laughs> or whatever. It, it was, it's funny because there's probably a number of other things they could have tied it to. They could have tied it to, like, you know, the White House <laughs> or right? something until the White House, 21 years until after the White House is dissolved or something. Yeah. And, you know, something American. But this was a very, I mean, we don't curse like on this common thing. Common law. This was very much uh, an F you to, to Santa. <laughs> if you ever seen one, because, the, what are because it was so silly, it's just like, yeah. Did you he know? respond? The yeah, he said, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. So he's going to fight. And mm, now whatever. Florida's launching investigation. investigation. So Iger responded after they launched investigations. Well, the, the announcement of it launching investigations. He said, any action that thwarts those, and he's talking about the growth, you know, Disney's growth over the next decade, because he was saying this in the middle of, you know, a speech or a reply. Simply to retaliate against a position the company took. Sounds not just anti-business, but it sounds anti-Florida. <laughs> I think it's perfectly Florida, but <laughs> probably anti-Florida, perfect Florida. <laughs> yeah. I well, that was like the week before we said Demaro said something like, "We're ready to work together," and uh, the new board. I hope mm. you know, mm. wh- how, like, yeah, how how Disney helps Florida or something like that. Yeah, they're they're they are the biggest employer, but it's just you know that uh, you know Chris Rock did this special like selective outrage yeah and you know and then he talked about the whole will smith thing and mm-hmm. everything you know how it was selective you know all these people came down on will smith mm-hmm. but he's the one that got slapped for the least offensive thing yeah yeah it's kind of like what happened to disney and DeSantis. it's like all these companies like disney was like only one of they were the last company they didn't even want to say anything mm-hmm there was like 21 companies that spoke out against yeah, that. Yeah, there's the, Apple, there's Nike, no, all these. Yeah, things. but see, none of them have businesses in Florida. Well, they yeah. all had do business in Florida, Yeah, but Florida don't want to mess with them. Yeah. Because they could all say, oh, fine, we won't do business. You can't move, you, you know, Space Mountain don't fit in a U-Haul. So you can't, <laughs> so and they know. Cut. That big golf ball <laughs> thing doesn't fit in anything. So you, they know they can't move, so they can, they can like, if that's a fight that you can pick. Yeah. If you pick a fight with like, you know, you know, Alaskan <laughs> Airlines, like, what's that going to do for yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Fine, we won't fly to Florida. And then, no, 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 You know, okay, mm-hmm. okay well, you know. Uh, you pick a fight with Disney and they know that they can't move, you know. And what really restrictions can you really put on an airline or another business mm-hmm. anyway? Mm-hmm. But you could do something to Disney. So that's kind of where Chapek stepped in it. He should have just took the L from his employees and, and, and Disney supporters. You end up getting fired anyway, like a year and a half later. <laughs> So, <laughs> but no, he had to say something. And, and then still, uh, he, when he said something, it was too late for anybody. Yeah, so it, now it both sides worse. don't like you. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was weird. But it's like, it also shows the incompetence of of government. I mean, I'm not saying just DeSantis government, but this is how government operates. It's like. Of course, yeah. And it's like, and I know people get sick of me um, doing the. Uh, HR comparisons and (laughs) HR metaphors. It's not even a metaphor, but, you know, there's a reason, you know, you hate to do it, but sometimes it's necessary to terminate somebody. There's a reason when you terminate someone, you have a box ready and you escort them out the door. Mm -hmm. You don't say, well, we're going to appoint, you know, we're going to fire you and we'll... You'll be leaving next month. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're giving you two two weeks notice. We're, we're giving you notice. Yeah. yeah. Usually people you leave the company, you, you give the it's company right away. notice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't you don't fire somebody and then let them stay around your company for a month. Yeah. And it's like that's what they did. And the declaration that they did, the whole King Charles, the the new <laughs> powers and you know, the lack of powers that the board has, it was done in open forum. They weren't even paying attention. That's how arrogant the, the oh, government was. Oh, it wasn't done in secret no. or anything? No, they did well, everything hello. legal. Why didn't you go to the thing? And they should have been, if you're really, the because they're hearing. not serious. He thought that we won. <laughs> and it's like, and everyone's saying like, well, why is Disney so quiet? You know, why is Iger not speaking out? Why did it do anything? Because that's not how you win a, a war. You win a war, <laughs> you don't run your mouth. You you do, you you set up a plan and you execute. You just execute. 
Yeah. You don't just talk Look, trash back and forth on there's Twitter. There's a public hearing <laughs> about student loans. Yeah. I was actually planning on calling in. Because it affects me. And you are taking over this position and there was a public hearing and you didn't attend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much happened. <laughs> That's what happened. So it's like yeah. Like I'm 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 gonna I'm even if somebody who goes to a new job would like to know if that company's gonna be around when your start date comes. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you would be paying attention. Yeah. I know what people, I'm on HR, I see people who are, who get hired and they're already updated their LinkedIn before they even start. Yeah. Like, oh, I just like to I'd announce be like the blah, blah, blah. shadowing whoever that board member you're taking over for, you know, like. I would kick shadow. them, if you have the power to appoint a new board, you could kick them out that day. Yeah. The state of Florida has the power to say, you're gone today. Yeah. They shouldn't have like, they don't that have- <laughs> lame duck period or whatever. This is not like, you know. You know but like, even if they didn't. And there was a public hearing about stuff that affects you once you take you know take over. Yeah, all they, ha- all they would have to do is send one person. They don't even have to send the board, the new yeah. board. Yeah, they could send an intern from DeSantis's yeah. office just to be like, I object. Yeah, and then that would go on record. The news people would show up. The news yeah. people didn't even show up because they were just like, oh, I guess it's business as usual. I guess you know DeSantis yeah. won. <laughs> so that like you don't deserve to win. If you don't even, <laughs> that's yeah. your biggest thing, you so know what, what I mean? Did, what investigation are you going to launch? It was a public hearing. Yeah. You're supposedly they know about sure it. They made sure they did everything by the book. Yeah. It wasn't a closed door thing. Yeah. It wasn't some secret handshake. No. They just did it during the normal course of business. And they were like, would, would you be curious about any business they're doing? Yeah. In a lame duck session? Yeah. It's like, it was so dumb. You know what I mean? And I'm just like. And that's embarrassing. And, and again, this isn't a Republican or Democrat thing on, and for me. I'm a registered independent. I think the Santos would get stomped by Trump anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a Trump guy or whatever. You know, I've voted for Republican politicians on a local level. I don't think I've voted for a Republican president. But to me, it's like whoever I think is going to do the best for the country, best for the city, whatever. But if you can't even win your PR stunt. Because this is all it is, is a PR stunt. This doesn't help. It helps DeSantis like, look like he's a tough guy in Florida. And you yeah. can't even get that right? Yeah. How are you going to run the country? Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you lost in your own state on your own key issue that you have right now. Mm-hmm. The thing that you wanted to be front page news. Mm-hmm. You wanted to embarrass Mickey. <laughs> and Mickey slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> You got slapped with those <laughs> big white gloves. <laughs> so, and then it's like, and here's the thing. You could take it to court. Mm-hmm. You know how many doc? like I said at the beginning, how many documents they yeah. they passed. We don't yeah. even know everything that's in them. Yeah. This is just the main thing. Right. I don't know if they're going to well, say. How do you, how would you trust them now that they are the board to execute these, all these things? They're not even competent enough to legal. show up to their own public hearings. But the thing is, is that if you challenge it, you have to do it in court. And so, fine. You know how long this would take to get to the Supreme Court? Yeah. The census isn't going to be in office whether he runs for president or not. Right, right. So, King Charles' descendants might die before this gets through the court system. (laughs) (laughs) That's how long this could take. And Disney knows that. Yeah. It's not going to be like, oh, we're going to just going to go to a oh, local yeah. Flor- yeah. Florida courthouse and get this resolved. No. Like a parking ticket. There's no speedy trial no. on this one. <laughs> they, 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 they took all their best lawyers. They said, okay, we're not going to say anything. We're going to be quiet. We're going to come up with a plan. Vet it. Make sure it is legal. We're going to do everything by the book. Mm-hmm. We're going to do this, 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 and this. There's no secret you know, agreement. What, 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 what's going to happen if they appeal it? Well, this is what we're going to do if they appeal it. Mm-hmm. And then we'll appeal it if they win this because, they, you know, Florida courts are probably going to be ruling in their favor. Then we'll appeal that. And then by the time, you know, this gets to the Supreme Court, we'll probably, probably already have two presidents from yeah. now. Probably you know even I mean? won't get there. Some, some things like this last 10 years. Yeah. With all the documents? And by the time 10 years comes like who's going to even remember <laughs> you know what i mean it's like whatever and then disney's just going to keep doing business mm-hmm. so yeah i mean it was <laughs> that's embarrassing man 
That's an, that is, I mean, again, I don't even think that special tax districts should exist, really. Mm-hmm. But they're they're very much. If you're going to do, and again, I, I said, I th- I think I looked it up. It was it, it was there's multiple, mm-hmm. multiple like dozens of special tax districts in Florida, mm. and um. One, that's one of the things that he was going to do. He was going to try to dissolve special those special districts, mm-hmm. and uh, but then most of them in Florida are like Republican entities, mm-hmm. you know, like the villages. Like I, I used use that as an example. You want to dissolve them all in Florida? Most of them. And it's not like Disney. Disney's a corporation. They're not like liberal. Yeah. You know, they they might be like socially liberal, mm-hmm. but they're socially liberal because. That's what they think makes money. Mm-hmm. If they thought diversity and inclusion was going to cause the stock to plummet, they wouldn't be so diversity <laughs> inclusive. They're yeah. a corporation. I'm not. I'm not blinded by you know by ideology on this. It's mm-hmm. it's one of those things. I, do do I like the fact that they're being inclusive and they have characters from all kinds of people? And yeah, yeah that that's good. You know, I think you know I think that's a good thing personally. But you know, I. I Let's be realistic. That's not why companies are really <laughs> doing yeah. these things. These companies are not like a bunch of like hippies. You know, they all companies want the same tax codes. <laughs> no matter yeah. which company it is. They're all Amazon when it comes down to it, when right. it comes to finance, you know. <laughs> so yeah, it is what it is, but that is an embarrassing thing to say that you made this your marquee thing <laughs> in your you know, test run for presidency and you didn't even get that right. You didn't even show up to the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even show up to the meeting, you know, and you left the people you fired in office. A manager at Starbucks doesn't leave, doesn't fire somebody and leave them in Starbucks to start messing around with the, the recipes the or whatever. And, yeah. the, and, the, <laughs> and the frappuccino machine. <laughs> You're out of there, right there. Mm-hmm. You know? But, yeah, apparently the governor does. So, guess to be continued. Continued. <laughs> All right. <sighs> it's Taste Talk with Tracy. Mash some magic in your mouth. Okay, this week... <laughs> From the LA LA style booth at the Food and Wine Festival, we had the glazed barbecue pork belly with furukake mac salad. Yeah, and this had a flower on it too. Right? It had the same orchid on it, mm-hmm. and I dipped the orchid into the sauce and I ate it. <laughs> 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 I'm like a and maybe because I when I was a kid I just ate everything. Like, you know how babies put everything in their mouth? Yeah, when you were a kid. <laughs> yeah, I still do you that. You still eat everything. I still eat everything. Um, this is... Flour poisoned me. No, it didn't poison We got it on, You're still we got here. It on video. We're still here. <laughs> you were just being dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, talk, talk about eating everything. So Carrie saw that when I told her, like this video, the one where you're choking on the flour... It reminded her of um, Disney World version. They have their um, sugar cane straw. Yeah. And she was talking about, you know, maybe just taking a bite, but it doesn't, it's not really edible. Yeah. And, and I since was, then, you've eaten 14 straws. You well, I <laughs> then she told me a story about how <laughs> she knew someone who knew someone who makes those stickers on apples. Yeah. And they're edible. So, should I start trying stickers? <laughs> Eating apple stickers? And then I was like, oh, uh, sugar cane? That sounds good. Should I eat the straw? You should have. And Carrie's like, no, I repeat. Well, you posted that you were yeah. going to eat the straw. And Carrie's like, I repeat, they're not edible. <laughs> repeat, not edible. I was like, well, you said it was sugar cane. She's like, yes, but that doesn't mean it's edible. I was like, oh, as in, like, since I like my mom's bamboo soup. But my cutting board is made of bamboo, so I shouldn't start gnawing on my bamboo. Yeah, that's that's cutting like the board. logic you had to tell yourself. <laughs> Do I need to have Mia like watch over you the next time we go to Disney? <laughs> Mia, I'll eat you, whatever. Can you watch Aunt Tracy to make sure she doesn't like just eat pick everything. stuff up and eat stuff? <laughs> oh yeah, remember I almost ate like a flower that was not edible. 
Yeah, I think we told that on the last. Oh one, yeah, okay, okay. I think, but <laughs> dang, Tracy. <laughs> so yes, you're not two. The <laughs> sugar cane straw, despite the, them saying it's sugar cane, it's not edible. It's just biodegradable. Mm. So I guess if I accidentally eat it. Oh my god, Tracy! Could, you just don't it eat it. It could degrade, disintegrate <laughs> in my stomach if it's biodegradable. Uh, Bio. Degradable. Uh, crazy. <laughs> Don't eat the sugar cane, Tracy. It's not edible. <laughs> but yes, uh, so that was our story. But anyways, the pork belly was good. Um, <laughs> it's a bit salty. I was kind of disappointed. I wish it came with rice to take away the salt. Even though the mac salad was good, but it didn't. Yeah. It needed rice. It doesn't go together. You kind of eat them separately. Yeah. So that's why I just ate flour with the pork belly because at least it's some the type of vegetable. Real flour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows how to even keep those flowers? Probably keep them like in a bin, you know. <laughs> but they put it on the food, so it's like it's touching the food anyway, so it Guess. must be clean. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Betty Ross is returning. So Liv Tyler mm-hmm. played Betty Ross in The Incredible Hulk, the m- movie with Ed Norton. She is returning as Betty Ross in Captain America New World Order. So if you remember in the first movie, Betty Ross is um, Thaddeus Ross's daughter, Thunderbolt Ross's daughter, and also Hulk's girlfriend. Yeah. I suppose ex-girlfriend now because what's his name doesn't look like Betty Ross. He's <laughs> not human. Scar. Yeah, he's from another planet. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Scar. like, huh. <laughs> so, yes. So that's exciting. Liv Tyler will be returning. That's Betty Rock. I think well, they're trying to keep it as consistent as possible. So, yeah, she's coming back because um, she's done about Ross's daughter. Mm-hmm. So. And we you know we have Harrison Ford taking up the mantle of Thunderbolt Ross. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know she turns into a Hulk too in the comics. Mm. But they kind of went kind of Hulk crazy in the comics. They started turning everything into Hulk. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah, because like, we already have She Hulk. So it's like, okay, you don't need Betty Ross to be Hulk too. Yeah, it was. It was. It, was, it got weird in the comics. Mm-hmm. But you have to understand, comics are going to come out forever. Talk about you know in perpetuity. That's mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so they just run out of stories. And they just got to come up with stuff. Oh, I see. So one time they they came out with like, uh, that's why there's a thousand Spider-Men now, the Spider-Verse. And then they came out with, you know, a bunch of Hulks. And then they started turning other heroes into Hulks. And yeah, it gets weird. And then there's a billion mutants now, you know. (laughs) Everyone's a mutant. The MCU, it looks like it. So we'll see. (laughs) Um, There's new construction at Avengers Campus. But don't get too excited. It's just for a merch store, not for a ride. But it's for the merch store inside the ride. You know when you get off rides, you end up in a store? Mm-hmm. Like after Star Tours and so or after Mickey and Minnie's Railway, the exit is always a store. Yeah. So this is the store. And when the ride ever opens or whenever they do construct that new ride in Avengers Campus, this is the store you would exit into. So mm-hmm. they started construction on the store, but not the ride. So the ride, I mean the store for the ride. Yeah. But I guess you kind of get some hint. Well, I don't no, know what kind of merch they'll not, be selling. The store probably won't open until the ride opens. I'm thinking. No, it'll open first, but mm. it's not. So maybe this show. It's just where regular it's Avengers yeah. merch. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. they don't. Well, I don't know what they're selling, but they're just saying it's construction inside that building. But they're telling people like not to get excited because they're not. It's not construction for the ride. It's for the store, but it's placed where the ride would have been, where the exit would be. Yeah. That's that's so weird. Why don't they just finish the ride? Like it's they like they said it was budgetary reasons. Maybe there's not enough Imagineers because they're laying off Imagineers. I don't see how it could be a budgetary. I mean, I I can see how, but it's like I can see why. So when they say budgetary reasons, it's not that they don't have the money. It's what it is is more of like it's not a priority. Mm-hmm. So maybe they think they have enough density control right now. And so they're putting money el- elsewhere, and then they'll come back and to it. And then putting a merch store there, is they'll make more money, 
instead of yeah. like a ride, they won't really. I guess they would if they. If there's a new ride, more people will come to the parks. I don't know. Um, for a while, yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, I think it's going to be more like uh, an advanced Star Tours, Millennium yeah. Falcon, Smuggler's Run type yeah. virtual ride. Virtual. So I don't know if it's. Maybe they have too many things because they want to finish Tiana's Bayou before they start any other new ride, right? Because they just Could got be. the Toontown thing and then, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't know how everything works with Anaheim. It's like how many construction projects can you have going on at once, you know. I should ask Arnold. He, I forgot. He worked for the city of Anaheim. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. Know. Did you know that that, that tree, the Tarzan's tree house? Mm-hmm. It used to be Swiss Family Robinson. Oh. And now it's turning back because when we passed by it, Mel and Arnold was like, oh, wait, Swiss Family Robinson? It was already Swiss Family Robinson. I'm like, no, it was Tarzan's tree house. They're like, no, but when they went, when they were kids, it was Swiss Family Robinson. And I didn't know that. I was like, oh, really? So yeah. they're like, oh, that's funny. And it's going to turn back. I was like, oh, well, there's okay. some Disney trivia they gave me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably be another live action movie. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. Um, speaking of live action, The Rock. Yeah, I have that. Yes, The Rock um, will be Maui in the Moana live action. Yeah, that's. Um, Is that like an April Fool's joke? Because I, I'm like, come on, how many live actions are you gonna make? But let's. Well, see. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it, it actually. It, I don't. If it was a night for fools, it would be pretty dumb because it's like it actually <laughs> makes sense. Okay. And okay. I don't think people would be like, okay, uh, you know, shocking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, like usually April Fool's jokes are things that are like, no way. You know, it's like, that's, that's like, that's way. That's true. Oh, yeah. Know? It's an announcement. And it was like today. So April Fool's is over. And yeah. also, who, if you're going to, I mean, I'm not saying they should do a live action moment. Because most, yeah, most of the live action movies have been like, Based off classic movies, or movies that have been around at least like twenty years, Moana seems pretty new. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, did they need a live action that quick? They don't even have any Snow White ones. They have the Huntsman, but they don't have. But then, yeah, we complain about live action being exactly the same story as yeah. the thing. So I guess that's what we want is more like the Snow White ones, where it's not the same story. It's just a spinoff type of story. Well, I just I'm thinking it just hasn't. They haven't been that good, you know. So, I guess the Peter Pan, Peter and Wendy's coming out. I don't know if that'll be good either. It may be. Yeah, I liked Hook. Yeah, but Hook came out <laughs> when you were a kid. <laughs> I think I was still a kid. <laughs> that yeah, was a it long, was a time, long ago. time ago. Yeah. Um, no, nah, it's probably it was probably in, was it the nineties? Probably the nineties, right? No, probably or the eighties. I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what's the next one? Oh, The Little Mermaid is the next one. Come Little on. Mermaid. Hopefully I mean, that'll be good. Little Mermaid, but at least the animated Little Mermaid's been out for over 20 for years. For a while, yeah. yeah. It's like Moana seems, I mean, because I'm older, it seems like it was yesterday. I'm sure it's probably been like, you know, maybe 10 years. I don't know. Maybe not even 10 years, huh? Yeah, I don't think it was that long. But... Well, it couldn't have been well, that long ago because the rock was in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, the land is like a little Moana area. Hmm. Like Iger was just there today. They just Disney Parks just posted something where um, Iger was um, at the uh, at in Disney World. Um, hmm. Yeah, it takes us inside Epcot for a closer look at the journey of water inspired by Moana. So. There mm -hmm. was there's a if you go on Disney Parks yeah. Instagram you'll see a picture of Iger, and that thing, Tofiti or whatever her name is. Yeah. <laughs> the goddess. The goddess. The goddess of Earth. Yes. Then, so. Then she gets angry and turns into the big volcano, starts blasting everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that's the live action. Yeah, and who else um, could play Maui really? Yeah. Who else is that big? Only the Rock. <laughs> yeah, only Rock could, could play him. So. Yeah. <laughs> and he has that voice, so. Well, uh, it's his voice. <laughs> and then the trailer for Secret Invasion dropped today. Yeah. And the show will come out, will premiere June 21st. Yeah, so Mandalorian will stop. Then we have about two months. And mm -hmm. then, yeah. Um, so, what, yeah, I think we're only getting two um, MCU 
projects this year. It'd be Secret Invasion and Loki. So, which For is shows? Yeah, shows. So I think that's cool because those are as far you know. I said they have like the you know the international part of Marvel. Then you mm-hmm. have kind of like the multiverse, and then mm-hmm. you have kind of like the space, mm-hmm. and then you have the mystical. Mm-hmm. And I think that most people really like the the multiverse one because it's connected to the yeah. big MCU movies right mm-hmm. now. And they like Loki. Most people like Loki. Some yeah. people didn't, but um, most people did. And I think this uh, Secret Invasion one, if you watch the trailer, it has that Winter Soldier vibe. Of yes. The, of kind of like the Falcon espionage, international mm-hmm. stuff. Um, it, and it's, you know, Samuel L. Jackson is the star. So mm-hmm. it's not like they... It's like a nobody star. Yeah. So, but then they got Olivia Coleman, which is yeah. an Oscar, two time Oscar winner, I think. Yeah. So, Amelia Clark is a pretty mm-hmm. good cast. Yeah, the, the cast is good. And, and when you have um, stars like that, they tend to have like some say, not not so much say in the writing, but they, it's kind of like their representative and everything is like, you better make this good. <laughs> you know, it's like the pressure's on, yeah. you know. So, I don't know how they're going to fit it in. I mean, obviously, the scrolls were introduced in Captain Marvel. And so, I mean, and, but I'm just wondering how daring they're going to be with it. Mm. Like, are they going to have big changes, like characters that we knew since, like, phase one that were actually scrolls the whole time? Because you got to figure, I know. Captain Marvel was in the 90s. Yes. And then Iron Man was supposedly in, isn't in the 2000s. Right. So, technically, anybody that we've ever seen in the MCU could technically could be a scroll. Could all be scrolls. Well, not all, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hulk They're not still. flowers to eat, Tracy. They're, they're <laughs> scrolls. They're aliens. Get a hold of yourself. Even Hulk. No. Well, Hulk actually looks like a scroll. And in the comics, there was a scroll called Hulkling who pretended to be a Hulk. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it'll be interesting. But I think it's going to be more of the human type thing but they do kind of look like they're experimenting with uh, the super scroll stuff where in the comics there were certain scrolls that had superpowers yeah so can they only shape shift or do they absorb the powers like so in the like comics Cap- there was only there was during secret invasion they found a way to absorb to mimic powers oh. but but that's not their natural ability okay so their natural ability is shape shifting, and the reason they can even shape shift is because their planet, and this is kind of, and, and this would be daring because this would actually fit if they give the whole history from the comics. The scrolls, so like on, if you saw the Eternals, this would be an Eternals thing, in which I don't know if they want to touch <laughs> because a lot of people oh, yeah, didn't like the Eternals. That, that little Eternal can shape shift. Mm, well, she shapes reality, but no, she can't really shape shift. Oh, the sprite, no. Yeah. Um, she does illusions and stuff. Oh. But what the Eternals basically like on our world, they were fighting the Deviants, right? Mm-hmm. And on some planets, the Deviants won and became the dominant species, and that that gene pool came out. So, because you see all the Deviants and how they're just kind of shapeless, mm-hmm. and they can shape shift. So on the scroll world where they originated, mm-hmm. they have lots of world because they were an empire too, like the Creed. But on their original world, the deviant one and that gene got passed down, and therefore the species of that world could shape shift. That's mm-hmm. why Thanos was actually an eternal with a deviant gene. That's why he looks different than all the other eternals. Mm. But he's an eternal. So if they go into that, that could actually tie up a lot of loose ends, but I just don't. Marvel hasn't really been good at that. Yeah. You know, you could actually make the Eternals movie more watchable mm-hmm. because it, because that's their actual place in in Marvel history, um how they led to the scrolls and how and all this and how the Kree kind of took after the Eternals and mm-hmm. it, it is the whole thing. But I don't know if they're going to do that. I think they're going to just kind of keep it like scrolls were mostly taking the shape of they probably weren't mimicking a lot of heroes, probably mostly humans and and most of those humans would be new humans that you're meeting during the show um like the president or something like that and then um yeah nick fury has to come and clean up the mess and keep the world from being taken over so that's probably going to be the storyline but i hope they surprise me because they could really do some really big things Mm -hmm. but 
lately they haven't been doing a lot of big things. <laughs> so, mm. not that I haven't been enjoying it, but I'm saying they could. It's kind of like the way the Mandalorian, and um, hopefully with Ahsoka and uh, you know Andor, they could probably make the prequels better by mm. tying the way the Clone World Wars made the. I mean, the sequels better. The way the Clone Wars made the prequels better. Mm. You know. Um, they could make Eternals better and they could make a lot of other things better if they started just connecting the dots. Yeah. Th- since you're going to make the show anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we'll see. We'll see. But I'm excited for it. Um, even if they don't do all that, it looks like it's it's a quality show. They're not filming it. It doesn't look like in the volume. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's the this virtual set they filmed like Kenobi on and a lot of these, um, a lot of Star Wars stuff on to where it looks like you're in this like open space or cities, but it's really just projected. Mm-hmm. But it looks real. Um, Andor didn't really use much of the volume. They use practical sets. Practical sets always look better, you know, in my opinion. So they're actually going to go to either use practical sets or go to real locations. You know, that's the one thing I like. A lot of people didn't like the Falcon and Winter Soldier that much, but that's the one thing I did like it. They actually used real cities and bought yeah, real buildings instead of CGI. And- yeah. But they weren't really super, super powerful people, so they don't really have to use a lot of CGI in that one. But, Mm. you know. So I'm excited. Um, I think it's definitely going to be better than She-Hulk. I think, um, and with the cast they have, I I have high expectations. So can't wait for Secret Invasion. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That is it. So because we're doing this on a Monday, I think we're going to put on next podcast and you're leaving again. So you'll have another Disney story when you get back. But probably until Friday or Saturday, we'll do our next podcast. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about, I think the annual shareholders meeting just happened today. So oh. it was just too quick to yeah, they probably recap everything. They don't announce a whole lot. The earnings calls are a lot better, but yeah. we'll see. All right. Well. Remember our new giveaway, the Lounge Fly Disney Princess Silhouette Backpack. And we will see you at the end of the week. Yes. <laughs> I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. Stay magical. Bye. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us at www.ropedroppingknowledge.com.